Hey guys, this is Amir. This is my first video up on YouTube. I, I know I usually just put up videos of my like finished work and stuff like that. But basically, this is a video on some workflow tips. I just want to show you guys how to export a little bit faster inside of Premiere. It's not the editor that I specialize in, but I do use it from time to time and I'm still learning more about it. But this is like a few tips that I found out uh, on uh, exporting faster because I actually exported this video and edited this full video in Premiere. So um, let me just do a quick export. And H.264, regular, and I'm gonna export it regular. And then I'm gonna also gonna export it with the actual uh, settings that I want you guys to start, like, well, start using, only because uh, I've seen great results with it. But if it doesn't work for you, please let me know. And just basically, yeah, here we go. As you can see, it's done. And it did take a long time. So actually, it depends on your system's hardware and a bunch of other factors. Also, your CPU. And if you have an SSD or not, and um, see how it took a long time for it to render out that project. Now, I'm going to change the sequence settings, and I, what I usually do is just put it on custom. Uh, the timeline's already set, 1080, and everything like that. And click on this, QuickTime, and then from QuickTime, I go to DNX and HD or H HR. That's basically is the same codec that they use with Avid and stuff like that. It's amazing on Windows. If you have a Mac, what you do is you use Apple ProRes 422. Now, these video previews right here, make sure that matches your timeline because that's the previews you're actually going to use to export. So it, this pop-up happens, just hit OK. Now, what you do is you just render the timeline first. This usually happens in the background on Final Cut. Apple optimizes their systems for Final Cut. They know what hardware is going to be used from end to end, and they're allowed to optimize their systems to make Final Cut work much, much faster. On Premiere, there's multiple platforms that it could be on, so it's hard for them to actually optimize the system at a higher or better efficient rate than Final Cut because there's multiple configurations, whether it's PC or Mac. And party. Yeah. Now, as you can see, the timeline is green. So now the timeline is green, what we're going to do now is do an export. You can leave all the settings the same, or you can change it if you like. But the main key is clicking this right here. You just click this right here, boom. And you use the previews to export. What's crazy about it is the fact that when you hover over it, it actually pops up and says at the second sentence, it says selecting this option will use those preview files and make rendering faster. So make sure you make high quality renders of video previews and then you'll be able to use them later, just like how we're about to use it. Now, just gonna name this something else. Um, previews. All right. Now we just click on export and you see the difference. See, I'm actually just watching this with you guys. <laughs> the other time, I just had to cut because it took a long time. Look, done. It's almost done, and bang. Finished. So that right there will cut down on so much time. But when you actually render your timeline, you can actually watch it fully. And then if you have any issues, fix it before you export it and you see it in real time. That's one of my favorite things to do as well. Thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoy your day.